kids. Let's get right into today's adventure. CC, it's story time. CC, it's story time. CC, always telling the stories. Pink hair and socks, she's never boring. Whiteboard with the orange tie. You need a recap. Derek is your guy. Oh, what a flow so cold. Everybody get ready for adventure mode. Heather with the crew that's so disruptive. Hey, what's that? Friendly interruption. Keen the kids, yeah, keen the kids. Keen the kids, yeah, keen the kids. Kingdom Kids, I'm not gonna lie. Today's lesson is kinda crazy. Tell me, have you ever seen an animal talk? I did once, in one of my dreams, so that may not count. But I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't wanna spoil the story, so I'll just tell you our great big question. Our great big question for today is who protects his people? But before we get into our lesson, we need a recap. Take it away, Derek. The Israelites were almost to the land that God had promised them. Moses sent out 12 spies. Two of them were Joshua and Caleb. They all stayed in Canaan for 40 days and cut down grapes that were as big as they were and saw giants in the land. When they told the people of the giants, they became very afraid. But Joshua and Caleb spoke up saying, God has promised us this land. We must go and take it. With God's help, we can do it. But the Israelites did not believe them and cried, let's go back to Egypt. God told Moses only the Israelites that did not complain would enter the promised land and God sent them to wander into the wilderness for 40 years. Wow. Anyways, back to you, CC. All right, I know it's coming this time, but I am not going to get interrupted. That's right, because ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, it's time for... We interrupt this regularly scheduled program to bring you this friendly interruption. Hopefully Joe will make you laugh with today's joke. Hey, Kingdom Kids! Back at it again with another joke! Now, what did the baby corn say to the mama corn? Where's popcorn? <laughs> oh, whew. am I right? Do you know what? I'm sure his jokes will be better with time. Hopefully. Take it away, Cece. Oh man, I was so close. All right, for real this time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for... Adventure Mode! God's people were camped out at the edge of the Promised Land. When the king of Moab, Balak, saw this, he became very afraid. He was worried that the people of Israel would move into Moab and take over. So he sent messengers to a man named Balaam, asking him to come and curse the Israelites. While Balaam was on his way, an angel of the Lord came to stop him from coming. Balaam could not see the angel, but the donkey he was riding on could. When the angel stood in front of him, the donkey went off the road. The second time, the donkey ran into the wall and hurt Balaam's foot against the bricks. The third time, the donkey finally just laid on the ground. Balaam was confused. What was wrong with his donkey? Why did he stop? He started to hit the donkey with a stick, and God gave the donkey the ability to speak to him. What have I done to you that deserves you beating me three times? You made me look like a fool. Then God opened Balaam's eyes and he saw the angel of the Lord. He bowed down. The angel told him, go to the king, but only say what I tell you to say. When Balaam made it to the palace, he told the king, I can only say what God tells me to say. God had blessed the Israelites. So instead of cursing them as King Balak had wanted, he blessed them three times. King Balak got angry. I told you to curse them, but you have blessed them instead. Go home. Before Balaam went home, he told the king a special prophecy. One day, a special, mighty king would be born. A star will rise from Jacob and will come to save the people of Israel. And that's what we learned on... Adventure Mode! I told you today's lesson was crazy. Can you imagine seeing a talking donkey? That would freak me out! But God sent an angel to stop Balaam 
if his donkey wouldn't have talked, Balaam probably would have cursed the Israelites and harmed them, but God couldn't let that happen. Hey, that's the answer to our great big question. Who protects his people? God does. God stopped Balaam from harming them. He sent an angel and made the donkey speak. He protects those who love him. Well, Kingdom Kids, thanks a million for answering today's question with me. See you next time. Bye!